Technology is never truly deterministic. It's always in partnership with human endeavors and human capabilities and human goals. We have a unique opportunity to do AI differently. The human in the loop can be a huge helper and a big enabler of very rapid and reliable AI advances. Northeastern's approach to artificial intelligence, I think really embodies the word experiential. So we go out and we find opportunities to partner with industry, with government, with anyone that has really hard problems, and then find opportunities to roll back basic science into the university. It doesn't get more interdisciplinary than trying to get the technologists, the policy makers, the business people. We have psychologists, cognitive scientists, people who focus on public health. This desire to be a bit open-minded, desire to learn, desire to get outside of your comfort zones, I think is even more important than background over time. Our job is to figure out what training is needed to get our students to excel, not in spite of robots being able to compete with them, but rather leveraging those robots, and that's what robot-proof means to me, to make them more effective workers, more effective thinkers, more effective scientists, and more effective, honestly, citizens. Artificial intelligence is really useful at taking these massive data sets and synthesizing them and activating them in a way that allows us to model what is going to happen a day, a week, two, three, four weeks from now with respect to these infectious diseases. I'm developing uh, modules for teachers to take in terms of digital competency and digital literacy and how that affects civics. For example, what ChatGPT tells you, should you believe it? We used to say uh, robots are good for dirty, dull, dangerous jobs. Our approach at Northeastern has been, can we really augment this workforce whose job is already difficult and can they really help the workers to improve the productivity or with efficiency, safety? Our goal was to help people who had been born with some kind of speech disability or who acquired a speech disability later in life to have a unique voice as a way to communicate. We learn so much more by getting out of the lab than we ever could in the lab on its own. We are remembering every morning that we're doing this for cancer patients. What more can you ask for of a system, right, if you can really start to even contribute in a little way to saving human lives? Northeastern has this amazing opportunity to be a living laboratory for AI in the context of experiential learning, AI in the context of research. AI in the context of connecting together a global university system. When we embrace the opportunity to be in living lab for AI, that's where the magic's gonna happen.